On the surface, the definition of puberty seems simple enough. The age at which reproductive competence is achieved. However, puberty should be considered as a process and not a single event. The word puberty originated from the Latin word pubcere that means to be covered with hair. The original definition of the word puberty related to the presence of hair in certain anatomical regions obviously does not apply to other animals. The fundamental requirement for pubertal onset is the secretion of GnRH at the appropriate frequency and quantities to stimulate the gonadotropin release by the anterior pituitary lobe. During prenatal development, little ovaries release estradiol. This substance is unable to cross the blood-brain barrier and gain access to the hypothalamus due to the presence of alpha fetoprotein. The alpha fetoprotein binds to the estradiol and prevents it from crossing the blood-brain barrier. As a result, the hypothalamus is feminized and the surge center develops. Basically, the hypothalamus of females contains two functional areas responsible for the secretion of GnRH, the tonic and surge centers. The two centers are important in the release of female reproductive hormones which affect the pubertal onset. The onset of puberty has many definitions in females. The age at first as thrust or heat in which the animal becomes sexually receptive in the presence of male. This can also be the age at first ovulation. This can be determined through manual or visual validation. And lastly, is the age at which female can support pregnancy. This definition is most applicable from a practical standpoint in all domestic animals and humans. You must remember at least two general factors which affect the development of hypothalamic GnRH neurons in the female. First, the development of threshold body size or composition, and the exposure to certain environmental or social cues. We have here the comparison changes in hypothalamic secretion of GnRH before and after puberty. At pubertal phase, the GnRH neurons in both tonic and surge centers release low amplitude and low frequency pulses of GnRH. Consequently, FSH and LH is minimal and to no follicular genesis or spermatogenesis. You must also remember that even though neurons in surge center in pre-pubertal females are sensitive to estrogen, they cannot secrete much GnRH because estrogen is too low. After puberty, the tonic center controls basal levels of GnRH, but they are higher than the pre-pubertal because the pulse frequency increases. On the other hand, the surge center controls the pre-ovulatory surge of GnRH. This surge occurs if there are sudden bursts of GnRH. The GnRH neurons fire frequently and release large quantities of GnRH in order to cause the LH surge. This is represented by a series of rapid and high amplitude pulses. Inability of the surge center to function results in ovulation failure. Here is a table which represents the average age of puberty in female of various species.